Hello everybody, so my presentation for the Educational Giant will be on Katherine Beecher. And so she was born on September 6th in New York. She was part of a really religious family and she was the eldest of nine children. Her mom died when she was 16. So once her mom died, she kind of managed the household since she was the oldest, she took over the role. And when she was the age of 27, she was engaged to Professor Alexander Fisher from Yale University. And her fiance died in a shipwreck. And after his death, she kind of dedicated her whole life to education. And so her and her sister started a Hart Hartford female seminar seminary and back then the era for women they only were allowed to learn certain things like languages and fine arts there's only like specific things they had to learn about or they could learn about and so they offered a wide subject for females to learn different subjects and increase their knowledge um, she moved to the west with her father in 1831 she started a western female institute and worked for mcguffer readers she kind of started writing a lot more books about a variety of things mostly about females and their roles and how they shouldn't just stay at home and like they should but like they should have the opportunity to learn and do more and so she started traveling and supporting her books and lectures and she made manuals. She did a lot. She died in May 12th, 1878 due to apoplexy. <laughs> so her major contributions, she was a big influencer for females because back then females had certain roles. And so like for men's racing females weren't allowed to join and females tried to join and they started sneaking in to prove themselves that they were strong enough and like good enough to be part of sports and race against guys men um she changed education for women for women and their role as i said earlier she thought that women could do more and had a bigger part she wrote a variety of books, lectures, and outlines, or workout materials, or manuals. Um, she wrote Duty of America, Woman to Their C Country, and that pretty much was stating that everyone needed to be educated in order to protect the notion of democracy. She was really big on education. Um, she wrote many more books. She founded the Female Institutes, and in 1823, she opened her own school in Connecticut. So, impacting on teaching today, as I keep like saying, she changed the idea of women's roles. So, like, women were able to take whatever classes they want now a days, like we are very blessed to be able to take the classes we are today and um, pursue the career we want and then physical education and sports were limited to men or were limited only to men and so nowadays females are allowed to play sports which I am really blessed that she was a big influencer for women to stand up and go against that because I'm really big on sports and so sports have really been an impact on my life and kind of a get away from all the stress and the homework and it teaches different things for me like sports definitely t taught me how to like work as a team um, I don't know it just taught me a lot in many different ways but Katherine Beecher was a huge influencer to many females and she was brave enough to stand up for women and
stand up for our education. And so she was a big influencer to education and everything. And that's all I have. So hope you guys liked it. <laughs>